Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. Um, so I am a huge proponent of just using things you already have rather than going out and buying new things, especially during quarantine now when you can't just go out to Michael's and buy something. Um, and so this, this page that you're seeing right now, um, it's from a vertical planner that I bought for five bucks, you know, in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. And to me, like it was worth that just for the, you know, dividers and the cover and the discs. Um, Cause you know, I don't like vertical layouts, but it was worth it. It was worth $5 just to buy, um, just for the discs and the beautiful dividers. I mean, look at these dividers. Coffee is my jam. Oh my God. I mean, that's me. And so I use that for my filler paper in my planner. Um, and then wake up, shine bright, be awesome. So, I mean, it's just, it's just adorable. So I'm really glad that I bought it. But, um, you know, I saw that, especially during quarantine, a lot of people are doing Netflix trackers. And, you know, because we have a lot more time on our hands. And I wanted to do a video game tracker. And I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. But I pulled out my vertical pages and realized I could use them to track video game releases, games I want to play, and trophy and achievement goals. And I just needed to figure out how to lay it out, but I got really excited and inspired once it, that idea kind of popped into my head. So uh, I'm just going to kind of explain what, I, what you're looking at here, what I've got going on. Um, so the first thing that I did when I got started was I covered up the um dates at the top and the days of the week just with some white out and then i used um my thickest washi possible that i owned <laughs> to cover up the top there because we don't want the dates up there and i also covered on the side you know where the monthly is um the little mini monthly on the left i covered that up with white out and put a sticker there um and then I put polka dot washi underneath just because I had space there to do it. And I thought stripes and polka dots are kind of cute. And I ended up going down the spine there of the planner with the same washi because it had like these multicolored lines that I just, I don't know. I just didn't like the way that it looked with the black and white stripes having multicolored stripes. Yeah, I had to go through with white out on every little, on every little colored stripe it was kind of annoying, but... <laughs> So I tried to find quotes that went with gaming. So I had, you know, do it for yourself, which is perfect because I play games for myself for entertainment and to relieve stress. Uh, particularly me, I'm a single player gamer. So it's really just kind of a me time kind of thing, which is why I found a me time sticker at the top. Um, and also there on the left. And 95% of the stickers on this tracker are from the um, Brights book. Like you'll see all the different like list stickers the do it for yourself. Um, pretty much all of them, except the ones that are on the washi at the top are from that Bright's book right there. That is just one of my favorite books ever. I've used a lot of it, but I'm glad I still have some to use. I just really like the way that it looked. Um, and the other stickers that are on the top there, like work hard, play hard. Um, you know, me time. I, have, I found freaking game time, which I, I almost screamed when I found game time. Those are from the mini planner basics book. That one right there. That's one of my old ebook goodies. I love that book. And then you'll see the pixel hearts up there at the top. Uh, I kind of lost my mind when like it clicked in my head. I remembered I had pixel hearts in this book right here. It was a dollar. I got it at Michael's a dollar. Um, and so I knew there in the box on the left that I had to put something there to cover up the side, right? I knew I wanted some kind of quote about video games. And so what did I do? I Googled quotes about video games and came up with a quote from Nolan Bushnell, uh, the founder of Atari. And that quote is video games fostered the mindset that allows creativity to grow. I really like that quote. And then I found, you know, keep going kind of 
inspire me to push through, uh, especially like toward the end of a game when it's getting hard. Like, just keep going. You've got this. Keep on crushing it, girl. Just all these stickers that kind of motivate me when I'm when I'm gaming. Um, and again, like the game time sticker, I just lost my mind when I saw that. So what I did was here at the top, the the little boxes are from the original colorful boxes book that I still have. And I used that and then put the dates at the top, starting with April, because we're in April now and just went as far as I could, which was through October. And for those month stickers there, I used the um, dates and holidays book, the happy memory keeping dates and holidays book. Um, and I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm using a friction erasable pen because I may end up once October's over going through and erasing. And using this again, ideally, I would love to laminate it and just use like wet erase markers. But with quarantine, I can't exactly like go to Staples and laminate something. So I'm making it work. I might just end up doing a whole new thing after October's over. Not really sure. But anyway, this is what I'm working with right now. And so you'll see that on the side. I have, you know, what the box, what I want the boxes to represent. So I have game releases and um, in that first box. And then I have um, the dates. You can see I use the dates from the uh, dates and holidays book. That one there from Happy Memory Keeping. And I use that to track um, games that I'm interested in that are coming out. Obviously, I can't fit all the games that are coming out in a given month because I'm just I'm not interested in some of them and I'm not going to list them all. And so um, I only did April so far because, you know, with COVID-19, a lot of games are getting delayed, including my most anticipated game, The Last of Us Part Two. It was delayed. A lot of people are angry. People are always angry when a game gets delayed. But in my mind, especially right now, uh, the health and lives of the developers and everyone who you know works at Naughty Dog and works at Sony, um, that's a lot more important than, you know, me getting to play the game that I want to play. It'll come out when it comes out. It's not a big deal. So anyway, um, that new releases box, I think it's also going to help me discover new games because while I was um, looking at it, I like found games that I didn't even know about. And so the second box, you know, underneath that is going to be games to play to track games that I want to play in that month. That does not have to be games that are coming out. So like this doesn't have to be, you know, games that came out in April that I'm going to play this month. I don't know about y'all. I have a huge backlog. I'm probably not even going to play the games that come out in April in April. because That's just not how it works for me. Um, like I've been playing Persona 5, like not Royal, original Persona 5 for over a year now. I'm finally about to beat it. I'm 105 hours in. I'm almost there. I'm in the last palace. It's fine. So <laughs> then I'm going to put other games I want to play beneath. I'm really not sure what I'm going to play after Persona 5. That's kind of a game that like when I play a huge game like that, I just focus all my energy on that and don't play anything else. That's just me. I'll get there, but I didn't want to write anything else yet because I'm just not sure what I'm going to play after I beat it. And so the third box at the bottom is for trophy and achievement goals. Now, you could obviously make this anything, but this is what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to track, you know, trophies for PlayStation, achievements for Xbox. I'm mostly a trophy hunter. I don't put as much time or effort into trophy hunting as I used to, you know, back when I was still in high school and I had a lot more time and not really a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> um, but I do when I have time really like to, um, you know, hunt for trophies in my favorite games. But achievements can also just be like beating a game. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can just simply be beating a game. That's that's huge, especially for a really long game. You know, it's it feels really good when you finally beat it and see the ending. And so that's all I filled in so far um, for April. And I didn't feel I didn't even start filling out May or anything because a lot of games are getting delayed. Like I said, um, and I don't want to get ahead of myself. Because, you know, if I start writing things in, even like games I want to play, I might change my mind and. I, I'm just going to kind of fill it in as it gets closer. Um, 
And I don't want to write any more like upcoming game releases in for May and especially not, you know, June and on, because like I said, games are getting delayed and it's probably going to change pretty frequently, frequently. <laughs> so, um, but I'm hoping that tracking it this way and writing it down will help me remember and keep track and, you know, hold myself accountable for playing the games I want to play. Um, I, you know, there's a lot of games that I've wanted to play for quite some time that I just haven't played. And I just, you know, when I'm not writing it down, I'm not tracking it. I just kind of forget, honestly. Um, and the only issue I'm having with this is this here. This is the front. Um, that's what the spread looked like from the planner that I bought. I had, you see the blue lines, the purple at the top, the multicolor on the left. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to design something in Canva that just says, or even just use like a piece of filler paper because I don't have ink for my printer right now. Um, <laughs> and just like use a tape runner and glue it to that or tape, tape it to that, not glue it. Um, just something that says like video game tracker, but I really would like to design something in Canva and make it look cute. Um, you know, I don't have ink for my printer right now. Maybe I'll order some and probably take forever to get here, but, um, but yeah, you can see that's what the spread looked like before. So that's my only issue right now. Um, and so <laughs> I forgot to mention, since I don't have my uh, punch here, I it's at work and we're in quarantine and can't go to work. I had to cut out each of those little holes with an X-Acto knife. Took forever, but <laughs> it worked. And I'm very satisfied with the result. So, you know. Being in quarantine has given me um, a lot more time and energy to be creative because there's a lot less going on in all of our lives right now. Um, and it's been really fun to, you know, for me, I'm a night person, I'm a night owl. So it would be like midnight. And this is I did this at like from midnight to 3 a.m. Um, <laughs> that's just when inspiration strikes me. But I encourage you to. You know, if you have spare planner pages laying around like I did, um, just be creative. Maybe come up with something fun, some kind of tracker. Um, it really kind of inspired me to um, get outside my comfort zone and just try something different. It can even be filler paper. Like it doesn't have to be planner pages. Just, you know, kind of do something bullet journal style, just something different. Um, it's really, you know, it kind of um, motivates you to try new things and step outside your comfort zone, think outside the box and all that stuff. But if you're a gamer, I hope this will be helpful for you. Maybe you want to create your own. If you do, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. So please tag me on Instagram if you if you do make one of these um, at Planning with Cass, which I have linked down in the description box. Um, this could even be a Netflix tracker, books to read, recipes to try, be anything. It doesn't have to be gaming. Um, and so I'm a little nervous about going in and erasing the text that I wrote with the erasable friction pen. I'm Again, I'm still not sure if that's what I'm going to do. Once we hit November, am I going to just peel up those stickers, put the new dates and then erase what I had? I'm really not sure yet. It I guess it just depends on if I feel like making something new. Obviously, I have, you know, the pages I'm seeing here if I can erase it, what it looks like when I erase it. I mean, you can see there's a mark. You can see where I had written before, but it's really not bad. But I'm just I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. And I might I may end up, you know, modifying this, making something new. Not really sure, but we shall see what I end up doing. Um, you know, I changed my mind a lot. And this bookmark. OK, I love this bookmark. I wish I knew the artist. I'm so sorry. I can't credit the artist for this. but. It's uh, I bought it at MAGFest a couple of years ago in the marketplace, and it's Rachel from Life is Strange, one of my favorite series. Um, it's just it's so pretty. Look at it. It's got like that holographic. Um, and on the back, it says sometimes people need you, though, even when they don't admit it. And I just absolutely adore it. I used my punch on it. It did not come like that. And I'm going to use that as a bookmark to mark where my tracker is in my planner. So. That's about it for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and share it with someone who might like to try this. And again, if you do try it, please tag me on Instagram. Bye.